Hello, I hope everyone's well. Right, the last video I made was about uh, if being a courier driver is right for you. This video is, is now the right time to become a courier driver. If you're thinking about setting up, starting out your company or becoming a courier, is now the right time. And I don't want to come across negative. I just want to give you all the points. Uh, for me, I don't think anybody should be thinking about starting out now. It's November, same day industry from Christmas onwards till March is really quiet, really, really quiet. Um, and it is a struggle to find work every day for everybody. So I don't think investing in the company and becoming a courier right now would be the best idea. So also you got to think of, at the minute, the price of vans is through the roof. Uh, I was looking at a Luton the other day uh, online. It was like 25 grand, it had 150,000 miles on it and it was four year old and that price just wow ridiculous um so yeah you got to think price of vans is through the roof the price of fuel obviously through the roof as everyone knows everyone can everyone's seen that uh we've got a dead period coming up so now is not the right time to even jump into this because literally from now till christmas usually it's quite busy but we're already seeing a massive downfall in work it's like decreased rapidly. Um, I think that is partially to do with everyone's trying to save a bit of money due to the financial crisis obviously kicking in. Uh, everyone's bills are gonna go up and everybody needs to save money. Don't matter who you are, everyone's gonna need to save money at the minute. Um, yeah. And literally from, from, from the end of Christmas till the start of March, mid-March, it's just such a quiet period. It's, um, it, it does have work, it does. It, it's just a lot quieter than normal. And it seems like it's a lot quieter now anyway. And I think that quite a lot of people will start using pallet companies instead of same day, because they can get it there within the next day or the day after anyway, and a lot cheaper. I think that's gonna start happening a bit. Uh, just a little side note, that's actually happened with one of my customers. They've started, if they've got just one pallet to send instead of sending me or me sending a driver in, they're actually using um, pallet ways, pallet ways, pallet link, pallet something. Um, and they will deliver, they will collect in the afternoon and deliver before 10 a.m. the next morning for £90 uh, anywhere in the country per pallet. So you can't really compete with that. Uh, these big pallet companies can do that sort of thing uh, us small same day companies can't right so also you got to prepare for the future as well so if you think about starting up now you've got to be aware that in well, two and a half years 2025 they're planning on making it so all vehicles over two and a half ton all goods vehicles are regulated with a tachograph and are on the working time directive so if you don't know what that is it's basically uh, hgv working hours so you'll be able to do four and a half four and a half hours driving 45 minute break four and a half hours driving and then that's it it's a bit more complicated than that but that's just like the the light gist of it they're not sure at the minute whether they're going to put in you need an operator's license and a transport manager as well to run a uh, to run a goods van but i think that will eventually be likely but uh, I had a word with Neil at Neptune Couriers, he's a transport manager and he doesn't think there's enough transport managers about to actually do that so uh, we'll just have to see what goes from, what happens from there but yeah you've got to think of the future is the fuel going to still stay high or is it going to drop again a van's going to keep increasing in price or are they going to drop again is it going to become busy again for the same day network like the same day industry because it's gone a bit quiet do you want to fork out a lot of money for a courier exchange membership? Because that seems to be increasing monthly. Um, my membership's £530 every three months, and that include, that's for the pro package. Because um, I sub out jobs as well, so I need like, the app on the phone to sub out jobs and stuff like that. And I can have multiple users on my app. Um, 
Whereas the standard package, I'm believing now, at the minute, it's about £1,600 for the standard package for a basic one man, one van, which is very expensive. So you've got to think of all these things. So if you are thinking about becoming a courier, at this, in, at this very minute, I would suggest you have a rethink. Even if you do still want to become a courier, please like probably hold off until March next year and then look into purchasing your van and doing all the stuff through, like getting all your stuff ready because it's quiet now. The watch to courier exchange feed, it's quiet. My customers are going quiet. They're using pallet networks to be cheaper and save money. Everybody wants to save money in the long run. And I think that you just need to be a bit aware of that, do you know what I mean? So I don't want to come across negative. I don't want to say, oh, don't become a courier because honestly, being a self-employed courier, it's, it's freedom. You can do what you want. You can work when you want. I've only done <laughs> two and a half days this week and I've still made a good amount of money. Uh, I've subbed quite a lot of jobs out this week. But yeah, I wouldn't suggest starting at the minute. And if you do start at the minute, I'd just be wary of all the costs that you're going to incur and the quiet period coming up and 2025 tachographs yeah so that's that thank you for listening i'm sorry if i bored you to tears or i've crushed your dreams and never meant to um yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video bye bye